Say, I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm smart. I'm smart. And I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. And my name is Ella. My name is Ella. Good girl. Let me see those muscles. Oh, good job. Say bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. bye. Love and respect all people and all things living. Uh, this video is taken just a, probably about a week or and a half back. Kind of been under the weather just a little bit. Um, this weather down here is just some of the worst, I swear. Um, <clears throat> but it's probably like that anywhere. So what you're going to see here is this is an, kind of an, some endurance training. I'm going to give you kind of like a summarization of what I'm doing here. Um, you'll see some ab work. I'm doing it on the ball for stabilization. And then I go straight into some pike uh, reverse crunches or reverse crunches on the ball. And I don't stop. I don't rest. I just keep going. I think I hit about 20 uh, crunches here. And then I'll do 10 uh, reverse crunches. Um, feet up on the ball. And then another 20 and then another 10 and so on and so forth. And I just don't rest. Uh, so that's training for endurance, basically. Um, that lactic acid that comes in, you know, when you're doing abs or you're maybe you're doing legs and you feel that burning sensation, whatever you're doing. Um, also, your breathing has everything to do with it as well, too. And um, and that's that sensation, that, that, that burning sensation. If you don't know what if you do know what I'm talking about or if you don't, you can Google it. Uh, lactic acid burn. You want to go within that phase and beyond that, just that little bit more. Once you can go past that, or you're working within that phase, those reps that are within that sensation, I, I should say, uh, of uh, the, that you're feeling that burn, and the reps that are after that. Those are the ones that do count the most. They do count the most because it, it, it takes your body, it, your body recognizes, okay, um, I, re my, I reach my limitation, and um, I can't go any further, but you're now pushing me beyond what I do know and beyond uh, my limit. And so now the body starts to memorize this sensation and it will um, it'll be able to withstand the burn uh, in future uh, sessions. Uh, that's just really a simplified version of it. But basically you want to go ahead and push beyond that burning sensation so that way you can progress in whatever that you're doing. That's something you should just be doing in life in general. But if you could do that for yourself in the gym, then you know you can uh, you can do yourself you can do that for yourself in life. So here I am, back and forth, back and forth again. I think this is like my fourth set. I want to say, uh, tell me if I'm wrong. I think this is my fourth set here, doing the crunches and then reverse crunches, and then I'll be moving on shortly after this into some endurance training. <clears throat> The endurance training, um, oh, and the reason why I'm doing the ball, um, regular crunch and reverse crunch, I'm using, I'm stabilizing. I'm using my arms, my core, my, my legs, my hips here are working as well too to stabilize my entire body. So I really want to shock the body in that stabilization phase. I am moving into the next phase of training, which is just endurance. And so that's what that's, what that's all for. That's why I'm shocking the body in stabilization movements here. What you're going to see here is me doing some sprints. I'll do some doubles. What I mean by doubles is I'm going forward, back, then forward, and back again. And at the end of that session, I'm going to throw in 10 sets of burpees. And um, this is good for me to record. Um, I didn't really know what a lot of these uh, YouTube fitness people were talking about until I started recording myself. And now I understand. Um, it's good for me to see myself here because I can see where my weaknesses are at, or my lack of stabilization or my lack of range of motion. And I'll tell you about that just, just now. So with the run, um, again, I'm using the burpee as the whole body explosive movement, but I use the sprints for the uh, quick explosive movement. First, let's start with the sprints. So uh, triple flexion, triple extension. When it comes to running, you can Google it if you want to. Triple flexion, which is your the bend at your hip, the knee, and the ankle. The triple extension, which is the extension of the hip, the knee, and the ankle. Those ranges of motion that you can you, you should have um, 
are going to be optimal for your power output, your energy output, um, when it comes to running, jumping, sprinting, and whatnot. What I'm seeing here by looking at, and why this is a good thing that I'm recording myself, what I see here is I have a lack of range of motion on my extension. I'm really tight in the uh, in the hamstrings. Um, the the calves are are not so tight, but and I've been I, I always stretch those out, but the hamstrings are are not really uh, stretched out as much. My lower back does need to be um, stretched out a little bit more. The, or I should say the uh, the hip area, the front hip area, um, that should be stretched out a little bit more. And that's what I'm noticing as I'm watching myself run. Here's a different angle. So that was two sets, a total of four rep, uh, four sprints, um, and then another four sprints, and then two sets of burpees. So here's another one, my third round of doubles, and then um, what I'm noticing here is that extension, that range of motion that I have in my, in when I'm planting my foot, when I'm extending my leg out, is not complete. It's not a complete range of motion. So I'm seeing that my hips, or I should say, my hamstrings are so tight, and when I extend my leg, that it's forcing my lower back, or uh, my lower back to bend, to compensate for the lack of range of motion. So I got to do a lot of stretching here. I'm going to have to stretch in the hip region and also in the hamstrings. That's typical for people who sit down a lot, driving a lot, or sitting at the desk a lot. That's typical. And that's where we start to have uh, back problems. You have uh, too tight of one area, too loose of the other area. The core somewhere along that lines has to compensate for the lack of range of motion by shifting the energy and boom your back goes out uh, maybe I'll show you one day and I'll really really sit down inside the, in the video and I'll explain it to you one day if you're interested it doesn't seem like too many people are interested I know I'm talking to a lot of DJs but there are some fitness people that have been um, subscribing and I appreciate that um, but um, but yeah sum it up Triple flexion and triple extension are, are truly important uh, when it comes to your run and explosiveness. I'm doing the explosive movements too because I want to do some jump training. You're going to see next in the um, you're going to see next in the uh, in the next clip here uh, some some quick hops, some jumps. I do the um, I use the little uh, the ropes to uh, make a kind of like a triangle. I'm sorry, uh, make a, a cross, and I start doing some jump training. And I'm just training those fast twitch muscle fibers in the feet, in the ankles, in the calves. Um, when you can train those fast twitch muscle fibers, um, they can to you know to start and stop when it comes to sprints because your deceleration is just as important as your acceleration. Uh, it, it makes for a full, it makes for for better out, power output. And then also your fast twitch muscle fibers. You can see I'm really imbalanced there. I need to work on some proprioceptive training, <clears throat> which I can talk to you guys more about in another video if you if you, if you like. Um, but of twenty training that fast twitch muscle fibers will allow them to um, allow you to get more uh, power output when it comes to you know runs, sprints, and jumps. And I do want to do some jump jump training. Coming up within this endurance phase, this what this video is really about is really I'm cha I'm transferring uh, my phase from phase one into phase two into endurance training, and so that's what this video is. I'm going into phase two endurance training. Um, uh, this is just kind of like a teaser for it. I'm just kind of moving, getting my body ready for it and stuff like that. But in endurance training, I'm gonna really work on the um, uh, jump training and really get my hops going. And the only way I'm going to be able to do that is with some stretching and some endurance training. That's just really going to help out as, as much as possible. I can tell I have I need to do a lot of stretching. So, like I said, endurance and stabilization are really shocking the whole body. You can't just do the legs. you got to do the arms. So, as you can see there, sorry about the bad camera angle. I'm doing some supermans, uh, splitting it from left leg to right arm, from right leg to left arm. And then I do some taps, um, just kind of moving over really quick, uh, tapping one hand, moving over to the other, and tapping the other. 
Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this video is basically that. Uh, I threw in some do it threw in some knee tucks, some side knee tucks, just for good measure. Don't normally do it all the time right in here, but just do that in just for good measure. And that's what this video is. I'm showing you the this last angle here. This is the another angle. What I'm doing is I'm going around in, in circles with two feet two times, and then go back around the other way two times, and then I'll do one leg uh, go around two times, and the other leg go around two times. And then I do some quick hops back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to help with the deceleration and acceleration uh, portion of my explosiveness. That's what the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth you'll see right after this here. The video is coming to a close here. So I, got, I just wanted to tell you thanks for hanging in there. And thank you for those new fitness guys uh, subscribing. I appreciate you. Thank you for your DJs for uh, following. Um, like I said, I've been doing some more DJ videos. We're going to be doing a lot more DJ videos. We're going to be doing a lot of gig videos coming up. Videos coming to a close. Guys, love and respect all people and all things living. I wish you the best of success. Look at it go. It's so fast. Say I'm, say, I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm smart. I'm smart. I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. My name is Ella. Good girl. Yeah. Uh.